Hello, movie lovers. Bob for Bob's movie review here, and today I'd like to review for you a movie I just watched called Detective Night Redemption. This one was provided to me for review by Lionsgate. If you do get a chance to check this one out, love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'll be sure to include more information, including links to purchase one down in the description. So this is the latest in a very long string of Bruce Willis movies. Now, I believe this is film number two of a trilogy. Um, it's film number two, but I believe it's of a trilogy. I did not see the first one, and I did not get offered the third one. So this will probably be the only one I am reviewing. And warning, there could be some spoilers to the first movie in this review here of this movie. So this movie is about this group of bank robbers, and they are kind of dressed up as Christmas. I don't know if they were supposed to be Santa Clauses or what they were supposed to be exactly. Um, they have these really strange masks, so I wasn't sure what the masks were supposed to be, but they were kind of dressed as Santa Claus. Kind of remind me a little bit of Point Break, because, you know, they're all kind of going and robbing these banks and wearing these costumes. And to be honest, I kind of liked the whole Christmas uh, bank robber thing, and I liked, I liked the way they did it, um, and it was pretty cool. And so Bruce Willis, after the first film, he is in jail and awaiting trial for... Um, whatever crimes he committed in the first one, he's a cop, but I think he did like some vigilante justice or something. And so he's standing trial for said crimes. And they'd say, we need you to catch these guys. Cause basically not only are they robbing banks, but they're killing everyone in the bank, which I didn't get. I didn't get why they were doing that, but, um, they, they're kind of like unstoppable and like <laughs> they send one cop in to try to stop them and it never works. And so they tell Bruce Willis, a very, very aging man, we'll get you out of jail and we'll set you free and we'll exonerate you and all charges will go away if you can catch this guy. So he's trying to catch him. I don't want to go too much into how they recruit the bank robbers, but basically this guy is trying to get home to see his family. And so they kind of recruit him in because they promise they can get him home to see his family. And he kind of ends up helping the cops a little bit as well. So fortunately, this movie doesn't hinge too much on Bruce Willis because his performances have not really been up to the quality you would expect from him. And he doesn't bring down the film in any way. And he's all right in this one. He doesn't say a ton, um, but he says enough to get by. <laughs> and, you know, he's, he's all right in this one. I definitely uh, enjoyed kind of the main bank robber's character. And I thought the acting throughout was pretty good. Uh, it does have some a little bit cheesy effects, but it does feel like uh, 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 almost like a blockbuster title. You know, it feels like a pretty good movie uh, you might see in theaters. Now, I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was fun and interesting. I definitely like the bank robbers. And, you know, I thought it was a good heist movie. And so I'm going to give this one a three out of five. I definitely enjoyed it. I had fun with it. Uh, it's no amazing story, um, but good enough. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, check the chest videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, the video is done. Choose another video. Still here? Subscribe and visit my social media links.